Okay guys, welcome to the AlphaWise U20 assembly video. In this one, I'm going to show you step by step how to assemble AlphaWise U20. As you can see, we have our button plate in here and we are going to start assembling with this one. When I first opened it, this bed was a little bit shaking. So to fix that, what you need to do is to turn your printer upside down. These tires are maybe far away from the rail. So what you need to do is to get your wrench and change the orientation of this tire. As you can see, by changing that, you can make the tire away from the rail. As you can see, I can freely rotate it or make it close to the rail as you can see when i rotate it it moves the bed so if your bed shakes a lot what you need to do is to get your wrench and make these three tires close to your rail and then you will solve your fixing bed issue as you can see my bed is not shaking also i will ask the same thing for your extruder as well as you can see when i touch my extruder it's shaking so to fix that shake what you need to do underneath your extruder there is this adjustable tire what you need to do is to make your tire go closer to the rail in here by just turning it a bit do not make it too tight just give it a tolerance but make it not shaking anymore after these two initial steps what we need to do is to use these pieces to connect our button plate with our vertical plate first let's open our package and when we open it as you can see we have lots of screws in here what we are going to do is to use these screws to connect two plates on top of each other there are four of them find the appropriate allen ring and then let's start connecting them together First of all, you might want to get help from someone because this step requires two people to make it properly. So take your both pieces together and attach them. And after you attach them, insert these screws from these holes. And we are going to fasten all these four screws, as you can see located in these sections, with our allen wrench. We fasten all four screws and let's turn our printer down. And this is how our 3D printer looks like. Very tall and wide 3D printer. Looks really nice. At this moment, what we are going to do is to get our T-connector and get four of these screws and connect our T-connector into this region of the aluminum frame. Connect your T-connector with the fastener. Okay, after this function is done, let's move to the other T-connector on the left-hand side of the printer. Again, by using the same set of screws, four of them, we are going to connect this T-connector on the left-hand side of our 3D printer with the limit switch on it. At this point, what we are going to do is to get our controller box right in here and make the connections with our 3D printer. There are two connectors right in here where I'm going to connect two cables that are coming from 3D printer and for the other connectors that are coming out from the controller box, I will connect them into the 3D printer itself. So we have two cables coming from the 3D printer. One has four pins which comes from the heated bed. The other one has more pins than four, which comes from the extruder. And the extruder connector goes into here and fasten it. And the bed connector goes into here. Plug the power cord into here as well. Right now I'm going to connect these cables that are coming from my controller box and connect them to our 3D printer. Each cable is labeled, so it's going to be very easy to connect them into our 3D printer. I will start by connecting these cables where I have X motor, extruder filament detection cable, extruder motor and X limit switch. This is a section where I'm going to connect my X motor and as you can see, this is very simple. And also I'm going to connect my X limit switch right into here. It's a tiny bit, but easy to connect. Right now let's continue with connecting our filament detector system which is marked as E and it's connected to right now I'm going to connect my extruder motor as you can see like this very simple let's move on connecting what is left Y limit switch Z limit switch Z motor and Y motor okay this motor right in here is our Z axis motor and we are going to connect our Z motor in here connect the Z limit switch try to connect it like this yes this gap in here which we don't have in CR10 or CR10S helps you to basically connect the socket much more easily. Right now we are going to connect two last bits, Y axis limit switch and Y axis motor. So Y axis limit switch will connect right in here and I'm going to connect it like this. Done, very simple and I'm going to connect the Y axis motor from this bottom section. Okay. Before running our 3D printer, I'm going to connect this filament holder together because I like it so much. This is the fanciest filament holder that we ever get from a 3D printer. It connects very simple. There are two rails underneath and you connect the nuts and the two screws from the top. And then you put this smaller bar in between. 
Alpha Rise U20 also comes with this filament in and what we are going to do is to put this bar underneath our filament put it in like this. What we are going to do right now is to install this micro SD card into here. Let's open our 3D printer. There's a button switch at the back. This is how the screen opens and these are the menu options. It's full color the LCD. There's this movement section. When we play with the X minus and X plus button it moves the X axis as you can see like this and same thing for the Y axis. We can again move the Y axis in the way that we want again same for the z-axis it can go up and down in the directions that we want and when you click the home x y button it homes x and y axis independently from the z axis itself and when you click the z axis home button it homes the z axis on the top right corner there is this distance measure where it shows you how many millimeters that each axis will move when you touch them so when i press x axis it will move by 10 millimeter you can change it to 1 millimeter and make 1 millimeter increments too right now when i try to move my extruder or the bed by hand it's not possible because the steppers are keeping them in their positions but when i click this lock button it disables the steppers where I can keep moving them as you can see like that right now Let's start leveling our 3d printer So for this we are going to come back to the main menu and click leveling tool when we click leveling tool We will click bottom right because we are going to start from the bottom right when we click it our extruder will move to the bottom right as you can see our extruder is very close to bed what we are going to do is to fine tune this section about a millimeter away from the bed itself so what we are going to do is to get one of the cards that we have and i have my own card and what we are going to do is put it under and release the knob until we have the enough gap and when you feel the friction in between the card and the nozzle you are good to go next we are going to click button left Again, move in your card and feel the friction and accordingly arrange the knob. Then we are going to click top left. And release the knob at the bottom and feel the friction on your card. Then we are going to click top right. Use your card to feel the friction in between. And when I feel the friction, I let it go. And I'm going to repeat it for the front corners as well to make sure that everything is fine. Our leveling is done. After we complete our leveling, hit the back button in the menu. Before we start our print, let's click the extrude button. In here, as you can see, we have the extruder temperature where we can increase the temperature and decrease the temperature. And again, same thing for our bed too. We can increase and decrease that one too. We have this auto feed in option. When you click, it basically heats up the extruder for you to stop cold extrusion. After it heats up, it will basically auto feed filament that we have in the nozzle. And let me move my Z z-axis up by a couple millimeters my z-axis is going up and right now let's return back to extrude mode my extruder is at the temperature what I'm going to do is click auto feed in whenever I click what it does is automatically feeds the filament into the extruder and while it's feeding it in what I see is the extrusion start. You cl we click stop in here to stop the extrusion. Right now let us print our first object. Let's click the folder and inside our SD card there are, there are 14 different objects and I'm going to select the heart in here and click print. And yes, I am sure when I click, as I can see, these figures are really nice. The extruder heats up to 200 degree, bed will heat up to 50, and I can see the fan speed, I can see the Z height. This is the process bar. It says printing, the elapsed time, pause, and, and there's an adjustments in here. In adjustments are like fan speed, bed, and everything in here. And I will come back and let's see how it prints. Okay guys, congratulations. This is the end of our Alpha Vise U20 assembly video. As you can see, our very first print has started and we will see what is going to came out from it. There are 14 different objects in its SD card and I will print them one by one. In my review video, you will be able to see each of them and we will do more stuff with this 3D printer and let you guys know how good or bad is this Alphawise U20. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you guys like this video, please hit the like button and leave a comment down below and don't forget to check out the links in the description below for more videos about Alphawise U20.